Now we've talked about many different ways that you can use journaling. Now the major thing that I think is important is that it's a discipline. And what does it do mostly? It helps you get in touch with you. You can write down experiences, you can write down other people's stories, you can write down what you heard and felt and saw, and then you need to go back to it because it's a learning experience. It's really about helping you understand you. Because you have to be aware first of where you are and what is going on and capture those thoughts, both ideas and maybe disempowering beliefs that are going on and your self-talk. Much of that is kind of hidden unless you start to become aware. And one of the best ways to get aware of those self-talk that is either good or bad most of the time, <laughs> a lot of it is bad at first until we learn how to get on top of it, is to actually write it down and then say, is that serving me? Is that helping me get where I want to go? And where is that coming from? Investigate some of that, and you can do that through journaling. Yes, you can do it other ways, but sometimes we're, you know, thoughts are going through our head really, really fast. There is really difficult for us to just attack every thought without some kind of a tool. That's why I use journaling. 